Today I'm going to be talking about how to publish a Microsoft Excel document on the web. And the way that this works is you have to first uh, upload it to Google Drive, convert it to a Google Sheets document, which will then allow you to publish it on the web and then people can see it. And the reason why you might do this is if maybe you want to show off your work to other people, uh, maybe you have some important data that you think the world should know about, maybe you want to put it on Facebook or on Twitter or email it or whatever. This is how you can do it. And it's a pretty uh, simple simple process, but there's kind of a lot of steps involved, so bear with me. Anyways, go to Google Drive, uh, drive.google.com, log in, and click the Upload button. Select Files. And then find the Excel document that you want to uh, publish on the web. And the one that I'm going to do is an old homework assignment. So. Uh, you'll see that it's uploading. It'll appear right here. Let's get rid of that screen there. So here's the file, um, hw2q1062810.xlsx. To uh, convert it to a Google Sheets document, what you need to do is select that little checkbox next to it, go to More, open with Google Sheets. It'll take a couple minutes to do it, or actually just a couple seconds. So here is the uh, spreadsheet in question, and it's been converted to the, uh, the the format that Sheets used. It's still loading it up. I think it's probably converting. I have a chart down here. Um, you have to wait a couple seconds until the menu options are available to use. So it's working. Okay. In a second now. Right. Now, here's the, here's the Excel document converted to the uh, Google Sheets version. You can see it's pretty big. There's lots of data on there. And I want to show the world uh, what it's all about. It even converted the chart, although I have to say it didn't do a good job of that. Uh, but anyways, to publish on the web, go to File and select Publish to the Web. You'll get a little Control Publishing dialog that pops up. This checkbox here automatically republish when changes are made. If you were to make changes to the Google Sheets version, like let's say this number here, average cost, let's say I just uh, change the text there or change this number here, this, that means it will automatically be reflected in the version that's published on the web that other people can see. Uh, sometimes you may want to do that, sometimes you may not want to do that, just a select or deselect as needed. Then click the Start Publishing button. Now, one thing that's worth mentioning when this happens is it's viewable to other people it's not editable. Uh, that's another setting that you, uh, a sharing setting that has to be adjusted. It's beyond the scope of this video. But if you want people just to see it, once you've done that pro process, you can copy the link and then see what it looks like in another browser. So this is Safari. Let's see what it looks like. So this link, by the way, anybody can get this link and load it into a web page and it will be visible to them. And you can see here it is. They can't edit it, but at least they can see the data. And that's what, that's what you may need if you just want to show people what you're working on. The other cool options you have is you can email it via Gmail, you can post it on Facebook, or you can send it out via Twitter. Um, and if you press one of these buttons, it will start the dialogue for publishing it there. So if you wanted to show, show I don't know, if you wanted to show your Facebook friends, hey, look at the cool, wonky economic spreadsheet that I'm working on, you could do that. The other thing you can do is if you want to stop publishing, just click that button. Stop publishing, and it won't be published anymore. So that those are the basics of how to publish an Excel spreadsheet on the web using uh, Google Drive and Google Sheets. For more information on how to do uh, tips and tricks like this, my book Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes explains it all. It's available for the Kindle, iPad, as a PDF, or as a paperback via in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching the video, and I'll talk to you later.